guys, it's Mariki here from Lake House Vlogs and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is the third installment of looking at our enrichment studies that we're using here in the Lake House Homeschool in our effort to become more of a Charlotte Mason style homeschool. I do have some other videos in this series and I'll put a card up for you and pop the links in the description box down below. So I have a video just talking about how we're moving towards becoming a Charlotte Mason uh, style homeschool here in the Lake House Homeschool. I have a video on um, our poet study and I also have a video on our artist study just looking at the things that we do to study those things and in today's video I am going to talk about how we study a composer. So adding composer study into your um, homeschool um, day is really, really easy. So all we do is we just take 10 minutes once a week to study a composer. And we do that one composer for roughly 10 to 12 weeks. So at the moment we are studying Beethoven and we are actually really, really enjoying it. So all I did was grab a book on the life of Beethoven and I have just chosen this one. Unfortunately, they don't have, we love the Who Was um, series here in our house, but they they didn't have um, a book on um, Beethoven or not that I could find so I went with uh, this one this is just getting to know the world's greatest composers and this is obviously one on Beethoven and let me give you a flip through so that you can have a closer look I bought my book from bookdepository.com I love book depository simply because they have free shipping and shipping to Australia where I live is super expensive so if I can get something with free shipping I am going to shop there so we have this book getting to know the world's greatest composers on Ludwig van Beethoven and it is a scholastic book these are a page on important places um, in Ludwig van Beethoven's life. We have a timeline here. And then it gets into his biography. One thing I really do like about this book is it does have a mixture um, of uh, proper paintings and also these cute um, cartoon strips, which my son really, really enjoys. As soon as we... Um, got this out of the letterbox we were on our way out and we grabbed it and we jumped into the car and he opened it and he he's actually read it already he really loves reading um, and he really enjoyed um, he really enjoyed this so it's a really great mix um, of proper paintings and those little cartoon pictures and obviously it just goes um, through his life and talks about you know this is a photo of Vienna which is really great you can add this into your you know studies of the world and cultures and all those kind of things In that 10 minutes that we take to study a composer, what I do is I pull out this book on Beethoven and before I read the next section to them, I will ask them if they can remember what we read last time about uh, Beethoven and if they can tell that back to me in their own words. So that is narration. And I will just take a short section from this book and read that aloud to the children. And then when I finish that section again, they will just narrate back to me what it is that they learnt when I read aloud this book to them. So after we have done, uh, and that just takes a few minutes, just a short, uh, super short section um, on um, that. This one um, kind of broken up into chapters, so I would just read one chapter to them. And then after we have read from the book, then I will play a piece of Beethoven's music. And sometimes um, a piece of his music is actually referenced in the book that we were reading. So if we have read about a piece, a certain piece of music of Beethoven's, we'll actually get that and we will pop that on and listen to it. Now I just use um, iTunes here in our house and so I will just search on um, iTunes um, on my phone uh, for that song and I will play it um, through our sound system in our home and we will just sit and listen to it 
Now, some of those pieces of music are quite long, so we'll just listen to a short section. Um, and the children will be listening for the different kinds of instruments that they can um, hear. They might, we might be uh, focusing on what mood the, the song is, how it makes us feel. Um, my daughter loves to dance, so she might actually jump up and just start moving to the music. If it's a slow piece, she'll be dancing slowly. If it gets builds up and becomes fast, she'll move her body faster. Just all those kind of things. And then we will also pop that music on while we're doing some of our lessons um, throughout the week as well. We might listen to it in the car or when we're doing our um, artwork or things like that, we will pop the music on um, so that we can uh, listen to it. Another really great thing uh, for my children was actually they don't really have never seen a symphony orchestra before. So what I did do is pop on YouTube and find some clips of an orchestra playing Beethoven's music so that they could actually see what an orchestra looks like and also what the instrument looks like. My older son knows a lot of the instruments, but my six year old, um, she knows a few, but obviously not all of them. So pop, popping onto that um, chat, uh, YouTube video and having a look at, a, at an orchestra was really, really helpful for my daughter to see what the instruments are, what they sound like. And what she actually does is when we're driving in the car, we are always listening to music and she often pipes up from the back seat, hey mum, I can hear a violin in this piece of music and things like that. So we are really enjoying uh, learning more about instruments and orchestras and in particular, learning more about Beethoven and the pieces that he wrote and the stages of his life that he wrote them and all those kind of interesting facts. And that's it. That's all we do to study a composer. Super, super easy. Don't overcomplicate it. As I said, we just do this once a week for 10 minutes and we'll study Beethoven for about 10 to 12 weeks. We just read a chapter of his biography. We listen to a piece of music um, and maybe talk about it. Easy. Super easy. Um, at first I was a little bit overwhelmed about how I was going to add this in, but when I broke it down and saw how easy it was, um, easy to do. I can't say the word easy enough and my children are really, really enjoying it. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to start a conversation with you. Again, thank you for watching my video and I will see you next time. Bye.